when they go up, they're gonna hook them around the next one, pull them up to the flatland. I gotta go back down to the rig because people are starting to climb this thing. So I think everybody's moving up. So is that the guys that are stuck on the incline can get to the flat land. nervous as hell not my rig in a foreign land here we go Sweet pea! Fuck yeah, come on! Oh shit yeah! Oh hell! Come on, all the way to the top now! Oh, be good, be good! Oh, little rocks, come on! No way! Oh. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're doing great. Let's go ahead and ease on up to the top here. Oh. Okay, let's try. Try this one. Keep the wheels on the ground. Now let's climb out of here, all the way out, oh, yes, oh my lord, that was stinking awesome, oh, holy hell I was nervous. <laughs> Let's keep on trucking. Sketch. Every time we stop opening the hood to let a little heat out, I think I got that under control as to what that is with that check engine light and stuff, and it's heat related. We're currently stopped because of. Uh, Troy, when he blew up the front end on his uh, Grand Vitara, he's now on a rope. And so they're pulling him out like they did to me at Rubicon. Sorry about uh, skipping a whole lot of that and not getting any film. The GoPro died at the same time that my walkie-talkie died. And uh, it was more important to have the walkie-talkie than the GoPro. So I plugged the walkie-talkie into the Goal Zero and charged it. But now we're back up, ready to go. And we stopped at... Uh, I already forgot the name of it. Lodestone Lake. So everybody's doing pretty good. Still got a blown up front end in that one. That one, one that flopped. I'm still getting hot. Oh, Jason with that 
convertible there with the hard tops doing spark plugs. Uh, it's running like crap, thinks it's running on two at times, so he's doing that and we're just going to hang out here for a little bit. back into two-wheel drive, unlock their hubs. Now we're just cruising back out through this Boy, uh, on this baby. Uh -oh, forest service road. And we get to the highway, we're going to be... We're going to be pretty close to being outside of Coleman, which is where the truck and trailer is. So, kind of cool that we went in the way we did this year. I know in years past they ran in in the other direction. Big old mine out here. Oh, you know what? It's a gold mine. So, I'm 90... Okay, I have no idea. But they were talking about a lot of gold in this area. There's a lot of mining in this area, so... Who knows? Could be gold, could be copper. On the way down, we took a slight detour. Supposedly, there's a mine shaft down here that you can drive down into. Took him a little something to get in there. And look at that, just like that, we popped out in coma. How crazy is that? So hopefully, they're gonna lead me past my truck and trailer. Actually, I think they are. I think it's right here on the left. Okay, here we are, all loaded up in the little town of Colmont, and we're going to head back to Oregon, back to America. Um, as far as I can tell, there's nothing wrong with that rig. We didn't mess anything up. I do, looks like I might have a transmission line leak, so I got to look and see if the transmission line just came loose, or if I banged it against something, but you can see right here, I got a little bit of fluid up in there and it looks like it's coming from the transmission line so i'll take the skid plate off and make sure everything's tightened up under there but other than that one hell of a trip so much stinking fun i think i'm going to stop the video here guys concentrate on heading home it's about a nine hour drive probably not going to go all the way probably going to stop outside of seattle and spend the night i don't know what time it is now uh it is 3 30. So I gotta get some fuel and head out. So if I cannonballed it, I might be able to make it home by midnight. Um, we'll see, I don't know. All right, thanks a lot for watching guys. Subscribe to the channel, follow along, Trash Panda Off-Road on the Instagram. And a uh, big shout out to all the BC Suzuki guys up here because we had a wonderful trip. 